So in this case, we are going to consider our topics as we have our 2025 uh, Great 12 Mathematics. We need to know uh, what exactly are we going to be working with. Also, the time frame that you are given uh, where you are uh, actually expected to complete the topics that you are given or the topic that you're given, you're supposed to complete within a certain time frame. It's not just uh, given a certain topic, then you just work out the way that you expect it to be. So, guys, this is what we have. The topics that you're going to be working, uh, the first part, you're going to be working with your number patterns, which is the sequence, going to the sequences, uh, the series. And this is in within the four weeks that you're given, you're supposed to complete this. Take note, guys. This is grade 12. You take into consideration the topic that you are given, the introduction of it, which is uh, an advantage that the most part of the introduction, uh, you have it from your grade 11. So it's just like uh, uh, adding one or two things. So you need to know the introductions of each part. Then also work with the revisions at the same time. You do not have a time that you are going to say, now I'm working with the revision. As you are working with the topic after you have completed to say you know the basics, quickly start revising question papers to understand how do they ask that type of a, uh, of a topic that you're given. The typical questions typical exam questions this is this is it this is time for revision once you've got introduction straight to your revisions uh working with your question papers so that can be very very helpful in this season all right let us continue guys we are going to also to work with our functions the part of functions is from is from your week five up to week seven where you are working with the formal definition of a function the inverses the exponential and the logarithmic. So we shall explain much about that. So it's in within uh, three weeks, an approximation of 13 and a half hours that you're supposed to work with. Then lastly, you are going to work with the trigonometry. In this term, you are going to work with the trigonometry, uh, an approximation of 18 hours that you are given. And do not forget, there's supposed to be a test covering your content one which is also which is also working uh, together with investigation remember it's part of your sba this one that you need to work with the sba and also the test that you're going to to write this covers everything that you have in your term one so guys you see you do not have time enough for a revision so do work out a topic question papers at the same time so this is what we have in uh, extended part as you are working with your patterns, which is the number of patterns, sequence, the series. Uh, the first part, like I said, revise number patterns leading to those where there is a constant second difference between consecutive terms and the general term uh, in the, in, is therefore quadratic. All right, working with a quadratic uh, remember that you work that with uh, we work with this one uh, from our grade 11 so make sure that you just work out the basics and do revise as many questions as you can also the number patterns including arithmetic geometric sequences and series also the sigma notation which is the most important part of your grade 12 you are going to have an additional part of the sigma notation and not just that in your grade 12 you are going to have a derivation and application of these formula for the sum of arithmetic and geometric series when you are working with the series they want you to derive these formulas all right you're supposed to derive the formulas for the sum of terms of each all right for the arithmetic and for the geometric you're supposed to know how to how to formulate these formulas not just or not just to know your formula these formulas you are given in your formula sheet they want you to actually derive these formulas where was it actually taken from up to where you get this formula and not just to derive 
also the application how to use this formula is it on calculating the sum of terms is it calculating the number of terms that you're given is it calculating the value of a is it calculating the last term whatever that you're given that is the application then moving on to the functions you need to know the definition of a function uh, the general concept of the inverse function to determine and sketch graphs right uh, meaning to say you're supposed to know the linear the quadratic and the inverse the exponential function you're supposed to know how to sketch those ones and uh, revise your re the revision of the exponential function and the exponential laws and the graphs they are supposed to be used uh, in this case and also understand the definition of a logarithm because that use of a logarithm is going to help us in exchanging or in reversing from one format to another you're going to actually change from one format to another that part you need to know the basics of your logarithm the laws of your logarithms are these conversions so we're going to talk about that the graphs of a function of a log you need also to know that one uh, so make sure that you just revise your basics as you had guys from your grade 10 your grade 11 all those basics that you had you're supposed to be uh, equipped so guys that is the purpose of the these online classes that you have uh working out uh i mean the use of the youtube also on its own searching out these topics that you had previously so that you just have a recap to know okay there is this part that i used to do like this just the basics then you continue with uh, your grade 12 which is important all right the last part that you're going to work with in this term is the trigonometry understanding the compound angle identities so there's actually a lot that you need to understand here on the compound angle identities the use of this compound angle uh to actually prove these identities the application as you are using this one so there's a lot that you actually gonna work with uh, so you need to make sure that you go through that revise the proof of sine cosine and area rules at the same time you need to know those basics where were they taken the sine rule where was it taken from the cosine rule the area rule where was it actually you're supposed to prove it solve problems in two and three dimensions applying uh, the sine cosine and area rules so this proof you had it in your grade 11 so guys make sure that you do revise your grade 11 mathematics you proved this uh, to solve these you had a basic of it. So make sure that now you extend that information from your grade 11 mathematics. Like I said before, guys, most of this part, you had it. Now you need to go deeper as you are working with more questions, more question papers, more revisions, as long you have the basics of the topic that you, that you are given. And not forgetting that you are going to be given a test which is an exam in this term one covering everything that you had in your term one all the topics that you had in your term one so that is that is it guys let us do revise as much as we can as we can see it's a year that is starting there's a lot of things that you need to work with uh, a lot of revisions that you need to gather up uh, before you proceed to say you are now starting a new level all right so that's it guys till we meet again